In the beginning, Siddhartha was a Phrygian, but he was no ordinary Phrygian. Siddhartha was a prince, and being a prince, Siddhartha had great stores of food, although it was mostly bird seed and nut grains and other food products so foul you'd probably need chemotherapy or an Advil or something. Anyway, Siddhartha was a gifted boy who spent many an afternoon mercilessly beating his bongo. For some reason, Darth Vader was always there. He also enjoyed playing the guitar. At times, he would thrash so hard his fingers would bleed. He wasn't a pussy. But Siddhartha was unsatisfied. He read many, many books, but none could give him peace. So he worked up the balls to confront father. his father. Yes, my boy! I need to leave. I need to go find an enlightenment. No, you're not going. No. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, Alright, you can go. Mm. <laughs> and so he left. He left his home and all his riches behind to find enlightenment. And Darth Vader went to So, he traveled by foot. Traveled some more. Until he met a psychopath. Ah! Good God, sir, I'm an ascetic. <laughs> Would you like to know the path to enlightenment? Well, the path of enlightenment <laughs> is anorexia. <laughs> you must be an anorexic. Yes, yes. You must do other things. The madman told him he must meditate and escape himself in order to reach enlightenment. But he soon became dissatisfied with this as well. God, that's cool! So he continued on his adventure. And upon encountering a bear, he ventured back. One quiet morning amidst their travels, our heroes met a kind man named Gotama. Mid Govinda with a small compact Japanese automobile. They were friends instantly. Darth Vader stayed with Gotama. Meanwhile, Siddhartha longed to return to the comforts of civilization. 
So he cut his hair to fit in with the local village people. And I stopped narrating this movie. You want a light hooker? Yeah! decided to venture on back towards the river, where spirituality began for him. Mmm, -hmm. look at that water. Looks so good. Might have to go for a little dip. They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty. Thunderstorm, thunderstorm. How oh, sweet. Is that the weather? Yeah. Siddhartha met up with Fazuda with the fireman and began to vent his stories towards enlightenment. Even the more weirder ones. And then he offered me a hookup. It was then that Siddhartha, through all his trials and tribulations, reached his enlightenment and he became a holy man. Now, that Vesutifer's life has been fulfilled by finally teaching someone the art of listening, he decided to go into the forest and pretty much die. So, yeah. Mama. 